waiting to see how the assignment's done yet. I'm scheduled to I came to the hospital in the fall of 1965. So this fall, I'll have been around the institution for 50 years. Having any numbness or tingling in your feet? I'm Mike Mullen, and I've been here for a year at Regis. I'm uh, your son. I was born here when it was Ramsey. Yes, you were. Regents does have a rich history, dating back to 1872, when the county purchased a mansion and converted it to a 10-bed hospital. 30 years ago, back in 1986, St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center became a privately run, not-for-profit independent hospital, independent of county ownership. There's a picture of uh, one of the women's wards. Well, private. I was on the Ramsey County Board from 1983 to 1995, and the Ramsey County Board gave its approval because it was hoped that this would be a good way to get the hospital to assume more of the cost to the indigent. In most communities, when you mention the county hospital, it's not the hospital of choice for the community. It's that safety net hospital. Part of the goal was to change that paramix where it would become um, private pay that would become a quality hospital for everybody who walked through the door, whether you had no insurance, whether you were homeless, or whether you were fully insured. Years ago, this would be referred to as the charity hospital. And we used to be proud, we would say, well, we might not fluff your pillow, but you really get good care. Of course, we've evolved into fluffing the pillow is very important. <laughs> While there's been a lot of change in healthcare and a lot of change for our organization, what I'm really the most proud of is the fact that we've stayed true to our mission and true to our values. Making sure that we provide high quality health care to everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. So often people in some circles look with disdain on privatization, but this is a privatization that took place for the benefit of the whole community. It's amazing how it has expanded and brought about the best in technology. St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center was the first place that open heart procedure was done in St. Paul. We were one of the first burn centers in the country. As recently as 2014, Regents Hospital was named the first comprehensive stroke center here in the state of Minnesota. So we've kept true to our commitment to serving everyone and also um, being on the cutting edge of innovative healthcare services. The care has definitely just skyrocketed and I think it's because of health partners' focus on outcomes and really looking at, at being data driven in how we provide care to the patient. I think we give excellent, good, skillful care. Um, it's really easy to be proud of what you do when you work at a place like this. The model is so successful. Working with regions, it's about the partnership. We have Ramsey County people that are embedded in the ER so that as people come through, we're connecting with them right there. I absolutely see this partnership continuing. We know that we're better together and that although our relationship has changed over the years, we always know that we're both interested in doing the best job possible we can for our community. There continues to be a need for us to bring community partners together with Regions Hospital um, to make our community a better place to live and a healthier place. Take me to Regions.